Bears, what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. A close call here. Did the ball cross the plane? I don't know. From the naked eye, this was tough to tell. Always difficult when there's such a tangle of bodies around. You're just trying to find the ball and make sure just a portion of it crossed the plane of the goal line. Challenged the play, it did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player, you threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe your comes back the other way. You have to regroup. Delay of game, offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still first down. 